Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 Preset System tutorial, we're going to do a little bit of detail enhancing as well as apply that previous Comical Faux HDR preset to this image, and then we'll go further and kind of enhance it and really make it pop. All right, guys, so let's get started. What we're going to do is we're first going to go to our Mixology. You guys hopefully remember this Comical Faux HDR preset that we created. Whatever you guys called it, you're going to select it now, and it's going to apply that nice HDR look to this image. Now what we're doing here is going to look great on any image that has good details. So just select any sample image, apply that effect, and let's go into our brush settings. And what I'm going to do actually before I do that, is I'm going to tweak the uh, white balance just a little bit. So I'm going to go to my right side panel and just pull it down a tiny bit because I want to get just a little bit more blues. Oops, that's not my, there we go. I want to get just a little more blues out of the uh, top of this kind of setting up here and I want to get a little bit less orange and yellow in their uh, skin tones. So that looks fine right there. I just dropped the tone a little bit. Uh, you guys can make any enhancements that you guys want to the uh, temperature and tint as necessary. We're going to hit K now to pull down our brushes and this is what we're going to do. I'm going to select the general all-purpose enhancer because that's kind of what I'm enhancing right now. Now if you guys are enhancing say sky clouds, select the sky cloud enhancer. If you guys are uh, you know enhancing flowers and and weeds and you know or not weeds but wheat, the nice wheat grass fields, then select the nature color enhancer. But for us we're just going to do the general all-purpose detail enhancer because that's what this is. Now what I like to do is drag it over everything and then just subtract it out of the areas that I don't want it because it's a little bit quicker for me than trying to get a perfect mask on the first one. So what I do is I just hold Alt or Option on a Mac and then just subscribe, uh, not sub did I say subscribe? No, I didn't mean to say subscribe. Although you should subscribe to this video and to our YouTube channel. But that is another uh, thing for another time. Anyway, I was trying to say subtract off of your subjects so that we're not enhancing them and making them too dark and everything. All right, so that looks great right there. Now, if we want to, we can do a little bit of additional dodging and burning on this image. I'm going to hit Enter to save this brush preset. Uh, and here's what it looked like before our mixology and before this brush preset. Here's that original image. Here it is afterwards. If you guys want, what I like to do sometimes on images like this is just do a little dodging and burning. And so I'll select my dodge, dar or I'm sorry, I think I said dodging and burning. I want to do a little bit of burning, not dodging. I want to do a little burning just to darken up certain areas of this image just to pull a little bit more attention into our bride and groom or into your subjects rather. So I'm just going to darken up the ground a little bit, the side of the wall a little bit and we'll go up to this side. You know, just kind of pull the attention into them. My computer's going super slow because this is recording and I don't know why it's going this slow right now but that's fine. Hopefully you guys can see these adjustments being made. I'm holding down Alt or Option on a Mac just to subtract it a little bit from the areas that I don't want. I just want to make it more of a little subtle effect than, than what it is right now. All right, and that looks fine right there, guys. So again, here is our before image. This is our after image. We have enhanced our details using the Lightroom 4 preset system and our previous Comical Faux HDR preset. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys with the next tutorial.